Okay, let's take a look at the notes on the updates for 321.25. Had a promiscuous mode for each digital channel. When enabled, the channel can receive calls even if the color code doesn't match. Had a channel ID feature for each channel. Set the channel ID via channel set. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be an arrow pointing to channel ID 16. Choose to use either device ID or the channel ID during transmission via channel set to channel ID set 17. Those must be in the menus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Add a multiple tail option, tone options under channel set, tail tone for channel, analog channels, 55 hertz, 120 degrees phase shift. I have no idea, no interest in that. Update in the memory driver to support. 25Q256 and 2512 5-tile flash ships. Default factory configuration remains 25Q128. Okay, that's cool. You might be able to replace a chip. How hard does it take to serrate the apart without damaging something or ripping a ribbon cable? Okay, added single sideband reception option for analog channel receiving. Okay, that is cool. Maybe I can add in some uh, 2 meter, 6 meter, 220, 440 single sideband stuff. Expand the digital frequency range 400 to 520. Updated the sub audio display at the main screen for analog channels. Changed from displaying CTC, continue to code, should be <laughs> code switch, or DCS to showing the actual sub audio code such as 67 or DN02. We'll hold the zero key while power on. After three seconds, the radio will restore the program data. This function can be used to recover data in case of data loss. Okay, but you remember the channel ID part, section two. None of that makes any sense. Let me show you. Okay, my Radtel DM4R from KD1MU arrived yesterday with firmware version 3.14. So I figured I'd update my desktop software to 3.14. My other one over here is what? Um, 3.6 version 1.17, something like that. Anyways, problem is now, today, I did this last night before I went to bed about midnight, I can't make any repeaters, can't even make my hotspot today. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So. It's like 9 o'clock at night. Bring my radio up here. I read from it. Look at the code plug. I'm looking at all the zones and the receive groups. I'm like, that's all right. So I go to the channel. I click on one of the talk groups. And now you have a channel ID and a radio ID. So I put for, where'd it go? TGIF Paranormal 3307 here. I tried channel ID, which should be the talk group ID. My hotspot won't see it. It won't recognize me. So if I change it to uh, radio ID, write it back to the radio, then it works. So now i got to go through my whole 1,024 channels, at least 800 of them that are DMR channels. And i got to figure out what the talk group numbers are. And i got to add these and go over here and select radio ID. Otherwise, you don't get into the repeaters or your hotspot. So... Oh, my God, man. You no, know, just to have promiscuous mode. And I have promiscuous mode shut off. But, anyways, what a pain in the arse. This makes no sense. What are these Chinese thinking?